Hello everyone. This is the lecture series of Operation Research Subject. In this subject, the course code of this subject is ME405. This is unit number 5th and lecture number 33. And uh, today I will discuss about the topic related to simulation chapter. This is a queuing theory. So, for my introduction, myself Rahul Kumar, Assistant Professor of Department of Mechanical Engineering, Suresh Gyan Vihar University, Jaipur. If I am talking about the queuing theory, queuing theory is a powerful tool to analyze the daily phenomena of waiting in line, discover how to define queuing theory and how it is started and why it's important and how it can be applied to real time situations. So all things I will cover in this chapter. So these are the different kinds of objectives related to this chapter. So by the end of this section, you should be able to understand about the queuing theory. Uh, just like as a, this is a mathematical model or this is a mathematical study and how to solve the problem with the help of queuing theory and uh, how to implement the function and conjunction of waiting line are the queues also. So at the at its core a queuing situation involves two parts sometimes or something that requests a service and usually referred to as a, the customers or job or request. So these are the different kinds, kinds of situations in uh, queuing theory right. So if I'm talking about queuing theory, so and what is the queuing, queuing theory? So queuing theory refers to the mathematical study, refers to the mathematical study or it is a formation or it is a function or it is a conjunction of waiting lines or queue and its score, a queuing situations involve two parts. First one is someone or something that requests a service. Means some person requests the service or something means some items he will receive. And it is usually referred to as a customer or job or request purpose. So someone or something that completes or uh, delivers the service usually referred to the server. So these kinds of information regarding this theory, this is called the King analysis. So for this purpose, let's take two examples. For this purpose, let's take two examples when looking at the queuing situation at the bank and the customers are people seeking to deposit the money inside this bank and the customer are people seeking to deposit or withdraw money and the server or the bank teller and when looking at the queuing situation of a printer the customer or the request that have been sent to the, that the printer the server and printer both are in line so this is the information about the queuing theory So, in the case of queuing theory, scrutinizers the entire system of waiting in line including elements like the customer arrival rate, number of servers, number of customers, capacity of the waiting area, average service, completion time and the queuing display. So, here uh, discipline is very important term because without it with discipline, you cannot follow this queuing process right so overview of the chapter or overview of the lecture here i will discuss about the what is queuing and the queuing theory and why it is an important tool right and examples of different queuing systems and component of the queuing system and the exponential distribution and queuing and stochastic 
process here i will give some definitions and the poison process some definitions and the poison poison process terminology and notation and little formulas birthday and death birth and death process of the application and expect from this here i will also explain the importance of queuing model with fifo discipline fifo means first in first out first in first out and these are the mm1 wonder one model mmc model and the mmc k model limited queuing capacity and the mmc infinity n model limited calling population and the other thing priority discipline queuing model and application of queuing theory to system design the decision making right so if i'm talking about the uh, one question is arises here what is queuing theory so queuing theory just is a mathematical analysis of queues mathematical analysis are queues and waiting times in stochastic stochastic systems and it is used extensively to analyze production and service process exhibiting random variability in market demand arrival time and the service time arrival time and the service time and queues arise when the short term demand for service exceeds the capacity and most often caused by the random variations in service times and the time between customers and arrivals if long term demand for service this is greater than capacity of the queue will explode so these are the different types of demand and the service time for the customers so for this example uh <coughs> some person behaves like as a based on the principle of first in first out and some person behaves like a principle uh, principle of last in first out and prioritized our service in random order right right so how did king king theory is of start so king theory was first introduced in early 20th century was first introduced in the 20th century by Danish mathematician and engineer Agnar Karup Elgar Erlang right and uh, this is work in this was work in work, work for the camping and telephone exchange and wanted to analyze and optimize its operation he saw to the determine how many circuits were needed to provide an acceptance acceptable level of telephone service so for people not to be on hold or in telephone in, in queue for too long he was also curious to found out how many telephone operators how many telephone operators were needed to process a given volume of calls and his mathematical analysis claimed in his 1920 paper so second question is here arises here why is queuing analysis is important why this queuing analysis is important this is the capacity problem are very common in industry capacity problem problem are very common in industry and one of the main drivers of process redesign and it in need to balance the cost of increased capacity against the gains of increased productivity and service also and queuing and waiting time analysis is particularly particularly important in service system 
he it is uh, used in large large cost of waiting and the large sales due to waiting so here is one example this is example of er at county house hospital and this is a prototype of example prototype example and here patient arrives by ambulance or by their own accord one doctor is always on duty one doctor is always on duty more and more patient seeks help longer waiting times are required so the question is arises arises should and the md position be initiated installed initiated stated so for this analysis here a one curve which shows the cost and capacity trade off model which shows the cost and capacity trade off model so in this uh, cost and capacity trade off model here is cost and here is process capacity and just like is this line this the dot black dotted line shows the cost of waiting and the, here this green line shows the cost of service and this is the uh, top curve or uh, inverted uh, just like is v curve shows the total cost of the items right so here <coughs> we see that if process capacity value is increased if process capacity value is increased then the cost of the waiting this is decrease cost of the waiting is decrease and in other words if process capacity line is increased so it increases the cost of the cost of the service service cost is increased waiting line is reduced also but service is service cost is increased for this case but total cost this is the to, first time total cost is increases and then is goes on the one one value point and then again it's increasing right so this is the graph of a total cost capacity trade off right so this is the something an example of the real world giving system here the different types of examples are the real world giving system so first one is commercial giving system second one is transportation service system and third one is business internal service system business internal service system and the social service system and last one is social service system for the example commercial giving system this is the commercial organizations servicing external customer examples dentist bank atm gas stations plumber garage mechanic all are other things and the transportation service system it includes the vehicle and customers or servers it includes the vehicles or customers or servers for examples vehicle waiting at all at toll stations and traffic lights trucks or ships waiting to be loaded taxis cabs fire engines elevators buses and the business internal service systems like customer receiving service or internal to the organization provide the service so here is in the third case business internal service system so in this case customers receiving service are internal to the organization providing the service and for this case inspection instructions conveyor belts and computer support of, uh, systems are uh, comes under this category and suppose the computer systems in the bank this is a very good example for the business internal service system and the social service system social service system just like is a judicial judicial process the er at the hospital and waiting list for organ transplant or waiting list for the eye transplant system 
our student dorms room dorm rooms so these are the some examples of the real giving system is here and the next case component of the basic giving system and this is the components of the basic giving process so the components of the basic giving process this is just is a first one is input sources and second is the queuing system so the input sources just like like, like as a calling population arrival process just like as a job right here job is produced just like as a arrival process so here is a this queuing queue this is the queue which gives the queue configuration and uh, here is this uh, process so the queue display means any any queuing process discipline is very important any queuing process discipline is very important uh, for this case so so next next case is here service mechanism service mechanism this is the next case for the service mechanism it provide the service process and several jobs are related to this process also several jobs related to this process also so in this uh, service mechanism then uh, service process is completed then you move to the next process this is called the uh, this is called the ser served job or leave the system served job or leave to system here the two possibilities are exist if you want to serve the job or you can leave the system also so for this case uh, different types of uh, queuing system are used so queuing theory uses the uh, different types of uh, queuing systems and those that cl classify the different types of queuing system are nodes queuing nodes are classified using the notation of a s c k and d where a is the arrival process s is the mathematical distribution of the service time c is the number of servers k is the capacity of the queue omitted if unli unlimited and n is the number of possible customer omitted if unlimited and uh, d is the queuing display assume first in first out if omitted for example this is the case of one atm machine this is the case of case of one atm machine in the atm machine it can serve one customer at a time in the first in and first out order means this is based on the system like as a first in first order so with a randomly distributed arrival process and service distribution time for this unlimited queue capacity and unlimited number of possible customer unlimited queue capacity and unlimited number of possible order possible customer is present here so queuing theory would describe this system as a mm1 system q here m here is stand for the markovian a statistical process to describe the randomness to describe the randomness and queuing theory calculators out there often require choosing a queue system from the candle notation before calculating the inputs before calculating the inputs so for this process these are the some components uh, of a basic queuing process so if the calling population the population from the from which customers or job originate when the size can be finite or infinite size can be finite or infinite and for this case letter is most common thing so can be homogeneous only one type of customers jobs are heterogeneous several different kinds of customers or jobs are present 
so the arrival process determines how when where customers jobs arrive to the system and this is very important characteristics in the customers jobs interval inter arrival times so to correctly specify the arrival process required data collection of interval times for this purpose of calling per, per population it can be homogeneous only one type of customers or jobs are heterogeneous several different kinds of kinds of customers and jobs are required so next is the arrival process if you meet any uh, new person in the case of airport or any other things so you determines how when and where customers jobs arrive to the systems means which type, suppose you open the one uh, service department just like as a one uh, store for the one tire store so in this store some persons are arrives for the buying the tires or any other things so for this uh, purpose you want to different types of peoples right so how to arrival and uh, some person comes in your uh, maintenance of with the help of uh, oral publicity some uh, it will come by the uh, help of uh, your uh, advertisement and all other things so different different kinds of uh, problem are created by this process so it is a important characteristics is the customers job interval times so at the same time four customers are come in your shop or in your maintenance uh, workshop so you just uh, gives the priority which will come first right so you based uh, you your service is based on the fifo system fifo means first in and first out right and for this purpose to correctly specify the arrival process required data collection of interval inter arrival times and statistical analysis so these kinds of services are also very important so the next thing is here component of the component of a basic queuing process so these are the different kinds of components used to basic process these are the specify the queue configuration queue configuration just is specify the number of queues it is depend on single or multiple lines suppose in your uh, uh, bank counter one single line is preferred or one or two two chamber is allotted by the games uh, bank so two two or three lines are permitted for this location so for this case single or multiple lines to a number of service station and their location their effect on the customers behavior but all us all our things it follow the rules or it follow the obey the uh, obey the all rules this is given by the uh, consumer right so their maximum size this is a means how many person it will come in your job in your workshop this is depend on queues depend on the persons only so distribution between infinite and top finite capacity it is fixed fixed and example of two queue configuration so in this figure just you see the two queue configuration here right 
टू क्यू कॉन्फ़िगरेशन मींस हियर दिस इज द मल्टीपल क्यू एंड हियर इज सिंगल क्यू दिस इज ए मल्टीपल क्यू एंड हियर इज सिंगल क्यू सो इन मल्टीपल क्यू हियर द फोर सर्वर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन बोथ केसेस फोर सर्वर प्रेजेंट सो इन वन सर्वर just a, this person it will come this person is come and it can be moved this side this side and this side and it depend on the thinking of this that person right so this is a multiple queue example and for the single queue just like as a means one server only one person will come right so here uh, rules are very hard so but waiting time is more for this case waiting time is more so we can move the second phase of this problem so there are the, uh, the several advantages of this uh, queue system so the here the, it gives the difference between the multiple line advantages and the and the single line advantages so for the multi line advantages just like the service provided can be differentiated and here guarantees of fairness if guarantees of fairness because if one person is goes then it will do work otherwise it can rest also so the service provided can be differentiated example supermarket express lanes and uh, here labor specialization possible here no customer anxieties regarding choice of the queue because choice uh, here choice of the queue is not present but in this here in this case multiple queues choice of the queue are present here are the four numbers of four servers and four number of queues but in single queue system only one queue is present so choice is not possible right and uh, in this case customers has more flexibility in this case customers has more flexibility and uh, it avoids the cutting in problem it avoids in cutting in problems also and blanking behavior may be deterred behavior may be deterred and the most efficient setup for the minimizing time in the queue and uh, joking line switching is avoided here joking line switching switching is avoided may some uh, in this situation some person moves to this queue and this queue suppose uh, like this here this is here two person are present then this one move to this side so suddenly it sees that in this uh, case here is only one person in this line so this person move to this line also so here the joking is present but in inside this single line queue joking is not present right so for the next case these are the components of basic queuing process these are the components of the basic queuing process for this case the service mechanism can provide one or several service facilities with one or several parallel service channels servers these are specification is required the service provided by a server is characterized by in service time so the specification is required and typically involves data gathering and statistical analysis so the most analytical queuing system or models are based on the assumptions of the exponential Le distributed service times with some generalizations, and the queue displays are it divided into the different type. 
specifies the order by which jobs in queue are being served and most commonly used principle is FIFO. The most commonly used principle is FIFO and other rules are for examples LIFO, SPT and ADD. So for this case can entail prioritization based on the customer type. It is based on the customer type. But uh, one question is very important. Why queuing process is very important? Why queuing process is very important? So here waiting in line is very part of the everyday life because at the morning first you go to your bus stop here waiting line is present and then go to office for the punching machine here also a waiting line is present and uh, you go to the any tea shop where is also waiting line is present then you go to the something is uh, in here uh, after lunch time waiting line is present and in this is uh, evening time in your shop here also dmart or any other thing line smart waiting line is also present here so every person uh, every person or the daily life is always suffer from the waiting line so but in the case of waiting line some person are, some person are good and some person are not good so this is depend on the person to person So waiting line is a part of the everyday life because as a process it has a several important functions. Queues are a fair and essential way of dealing with the flow of customers. When there are limited resources, negative customers arises if a queue process is not established to deal the overcapacity. For example, when too many visitors navigate to a website the website will show and crash if it does not have a way to change the speed at which process is requested so this is a way to queue visitors right so these are the different types of examples and uh, suppose this is a one uh, best example for the waiting line imagine planes waiting for a runway to land when there is an excess of plane the absence of the queue would have real safety Imp implications as planes are all try to land at the same time so queuing theory is important because it helps describe the features of the queue like average wait time and provides the tool for optimizing queues for a business sense, queuing theory informs inform the constructions of efficient and cost-effective workflow system. Cost-effective workflow systems. So this is a very important type. Here it shows the magnitude effect of long queues. It shows the magnitude effect of the long queues. For this magnitude effect of the long queues, wait, wait, wait. So this shows the magnitude effect for, of long queues. So the con calling the queue from arriving customers. For example, restaurant divert people to the bar are use pagers, assessment parks require people to buy tickets outside the park. Bank broad, broadcast news on TV at various stations along the queue and consists snack, night clubs and queues through slot machine areas and use the customers as a resources. For this purpose, patient filling out medical history from while waiting for physician. So making the customers wait comfortable or distracting their attention. For example, Complimentary things at restaurant, computer games, internet stations, food courts, shops, etc. at the airport are present for the reduce the waiting line. 
so explain reason for which right and provide pessimistic estimate of the remaining wait time which will give the wait seem shorter if the time estimate is given be fair and open about the queuing discipline used be fair and open about the queuing discipline used for this case so these are the common sense queuing model these are the common sense queuing model these are the uh, this is a one queue system for this queue system this is a customer c and the queue is here c is da 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 this is so the customers and the service facility this is the service service facility cs server and these are different types of servers and this will give a output at that time so these are the different kinds of approaches for the common sense queuing model and uh, a common sense queuing model gives the different types of uh, service time as well as interval times are assumed and independent and identically distributed if not otherwise specified and commonly used notations principle a by b by c analysis here a shows the inter arrival time distribution a shows the inter arrival time distribution b shows the service time distribution c shows the number of the parallel service and commonly used distribution this is the mdg mdg means markovian exponential memorials analysis d is the deterministic distribution g is the general distribution and for the example of mm m oblique m oblique c mmc this gives the queuing system with exponentially distributed service and inter arrival times and c servers right and then move to the next case this is the exponential distribution queuing theorem this is the exponential distribution and queuing theory it is the most common used in the queuing model are based on the assumptions of exponentially distributed service time and the inter arrivals time so for this uh, case the definition is here is so stage or random variables t just a solution of uh, exponential alpha that is is exponential distributed with parameter alpha and if it is if it is frequency function is if it is frequency function is then it is divided and decided to ft comma t is equal to alpha e ki power l minus alpha t where t greater than equal 0 and for if uh, this function is 0 when t less than 0 so the cumulative distribution function is ft t equal to 1 minus e ki power minus alpha t and the mean e t equal to 1 by alpha the variance t is here equal to 1 by alpha square right 1 by alpha square for this case so the exponential distribution is here probability density and the time between <sighs> probability density and the time between arrivals for the time between arrivals which shows the different kinds of analysis so for this case here probability uh, density is less with if time between intervals are less also if time be uh, time between intervals are high right and uh, for this case properties of the exponential distribution depend on the ft is directly decreasing in it suppose ft this is directly decreasing if the time in between inter arrivals are increasing right so for this implication some points are noted here many realizations of t that is value of t will be 
small between zero and the mean not suitable for describing the service time of the standards standardize the operation when all time should be centered around the mean example machine processing time is manufacturing machine processing time in manufacturing and often re reasonable in service situations when different customers require different types of service and after a reasonable description of the time between the customers arrivals so these kinds of uh, <coughs> queuing theory is used for this system and here is some applications so queuing theory has been applied just a name of a few uh, approaches just telecommunication transportation logistics finance emergency services computing industrial engineering project management and lot of the uh, things uh, followed the queuing theory so So we'll move to the next section of this uh, section is here. This is the MCQ problem section. For this case, first question is here. All simulation involve. Uh, the first option is given a passage of time, a model of a computer, a limit imitation of a system, a visual display. So it gives simulation is involve the, the passage of uh, a com model of a computer right and uh, b is the right option then move to the next question the simulation described in the book are used for understanding a system understanding and improving a system improve a system none of the above so it uh, correct answer for this question is here understanding and improving a system for this case right so move to the third question and fourth Which of the following is not a simulation method? These are the these are the questions like this. Is not a simulation method. The first option is here. Monaco simulation. B is system dynamics. C is agent based and D is discrete event. So it gives the Monaco simulation. Is the right answer? And for the question number four, the key key region of using simulation or uh, systems are subjected to the A option is variabilities, interconnectedness and complexity, variability, interconnectedness and simplicity, variability information and complexity, external shocks, interconnectedness and complexity is here. So. C is the right answer for this question and then move to the question number 5 is the rule of thumb that managers to simplify the decision making process these are the uh, sunk cost is the right answer for this question and then move to the question number 6 which of the following is true for inventory control this is the economic order quantity has minimum total cost per order B is the inventory carrying cost increases with quantity per order. C is the ordering cost decreases with low size. And D is the all of the above. So the correct answer for this question is here. D is the all of the above. Then move to the question number 7. Which software provides key performance indicator to help managers monitor efficiency of the project and employees? This, this is a management information system b business performance management system and c enterprises application software d online and analytical processing so the correct answer for it is here enterprises application software and uh, next thing is here mcq problem which of these is not mentioned in discussion making matrix these are the analytic analytic behavioral directive performance management so the b option is right this is the behavioral 
एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एट्थ क्वेश्चन Which of the following is the assumption of rationality to rational nail decision making? So here for this case, four option is given. Preferences are clear, and final choice will maximize payoff. The problem is clear and ambiguous, and all of the above. So the the problem is clear and ambiguous. This is the right answer. And then move to the question number nine. Is accepting solutions that are good enough. This is the bounded rationality, satisfying escapulation of commitment, and none of the above. So the correct answer is here, none of the. This is the right answer. And then move to the question number ten. So the question number ten, here is some making decision on the basis of the experience, feelings, and accumulated judgment is called as decision making. Structured problem in a into to decision making and none of the above so the problem is here structured problem is the right answer for this question structured problem then these are the references of this chapter and uh, if you want more information about this lecture then you go to the references and then uh, you will take more information and uh, thank you for this chapter lecture here thank you all of you